Wayne Thiebaud is an American painter who is most well known for his bright, cheerful paintings of sweets, such as cakes, ice cream cones, and lollipops. He's associated with the pop art movement. Now that we know a little bit about his artwork, let's create our own lollipops using some color mixing today. Now I want you to start off with a white sheet of paper and you'll notice I can't put my circles three across but if you um, configure them into the corners and begin at the corner you'll be okay to get three circles onto your paper. Now you'll notice this is a wet on wet watercolor technique. Put water on the paper and then look at that color just spread in the water. That is amazing. It looks so beautiful. Now that I've started with my purple, I'm going into its analogous colors, mostly red, a little bit of orange, and just letting those colors again mix and blend into the paper. If you use plenty of water, the color will just start to blend onto the page. You can see my dots on the corner, those aren't blending because they didn't get water in them. So when I do my second circle today, I'm gonna make sure that I get all the way up to the edge of my circles using the brush and plenty of water. Dip that brush into your paints and again, let the watercolor do its magic. This is called wet on wet watercolor technique. I'm letting my colors mix and blend all on their own. I'm not doing any swirling or painting with the colors. Instead, get your circle wet, Dip your paint or your brush into the paint and let the paint start spreading in the water. Wet on wet watercolor technique is so amazing and beautiful. I just love the way it looks. Again, I'm going to its analogous color, green and yellow are right next to each other. So I'm gonna let those colors, again, mix, match and blend and do their magic. Now while that's setting aside to dry, I want you to take three popsicle sticks. And with those popsicle sticks, go ahead and color them with any kind of designs or patterns or colors that you would like. Okay, now that my popsicle sticks are ready, I'm gonna grab a sheet of paper and a long, colorful strip of paper. Decide which side you like the best and glue down the opposite side so that that will create a table for your lollipops to stand on. I thought this paper looks really great on my background. Lastly, grab your glue bottle and start gluing your craft sticks into place. Please use the white glue, glue sticks might not hold. So I'm placing white glue into um, make this stick. Now I'm hoping that your watercolor has dried by now. And if it has, let's go ahead now and start grabbing our oil pastels. You'll notice that I grabbed two of the same colors that I used with paint. I'm using the same color of oil pastels. Starting out with a circle and using my oil pastel colors to create a nice spiral, just like a regular lollipop. Again, begin with a circle, take that oil pastel to make a spiral inside, and another color that you used a lot of to make your watercolors. Now that I've got that done, let's take our scissors and cut out the three circles. Okay, now that I've got that done, let's arrange them in place and glue them down where I like them. Ta-da! This was really a fun project. I hope you had a great time. I know I sure did. Happy art making, boys and girls.